Let's get salty! Hey everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and we have one of the more kind of insane, unique, over the top, diverse, neutral legendaries I've ever seen. I'm not even sure it's good, but there's a lot of talk about with this card because there's a lot of moving pieces, a lot of different synergies, and I feel like it's going to lead to a lot of different Mark combo videos. So we're going to go and take a deep dive on this last legendary reveal. That's the last one of this mini set. And if you want to win this card, any of the other legendaries or any of the other cards revealed so far and will be later today or later this week, we are giving away three mini sets out of my pocket to enter that giveaway. Like and comment in the video, link down in the description below the one with thumbnail over there be subscribed to the channel and every thousand subs we get until the 14th when the mini set launches i will add another mini set to that giveaway so hit that sub button make me go baroque so and what am i talking about with this new neutral legendary being crazy well it's a brand new mech five mana five five neutral card the replicator innator it has both miniaturize and gigantify attached to it. And after you play a minion with the same attack as this, summon a copy of it, which means so you get the five mana five five version on the board. You'll add the one mana one one to your hand. You'll get the eight mana eight eight version to your hand. They all have the same text. So all of them will work with the different attack values. And that just creates like kind of infinite possibilities with this card. Looking at like the eight mana eight eight version, looking at eight attack in standard right now, the best usage of it is probably gonna just be giants, right? Pretty much all the giants, you can get them down to zero. You can play a stitch giant with that eight mana eight eight version. You can play a molten giant. You can play a lot of those different type of cards, but it's not really gonna work very well with the big boys, right? You can't really combo it that well. Wait, why is Odin eight mana in the collection? The library has been weird lately. Anyways, are they reverting that? Hopefully not. But yeah, I'm looking at like molten giants, probably not a mountain giant, but you can look at playhouse giant, like that type of a combo, but it's still eight mana, still not amazing. I feel like the usage of this card probably won't be super reliant on the 8.8 version, but it's something to absolutely consider. At five, you're looking a little bit better because a lot of five attack or five mana minions are also have five attack, but you know, like a no muncher could be pretty good if you got the coin and all of that. You could copy up a Titan if you have the mana. We'll talk about that again at one attack where I think there's a real good thing there, but it might create like another broken druid combo with like Eunar. Like there's possibilities of that where you can copy Eunar with the five attack thing, but you gotta play five mana first, so I'm not exactly sure how you'll get to that point. But again, it's something that like, there's just so many possibilities for it in multiple classes. You could just copy up a Mantle Shaper. If you got that down to zero, that could be pretty effective or a Raw Den could be pretty darn sweet with that too, getting two of those, like uh, making that work for your deck or the recently buffed Goldbeard. I got that achievement done, by the way, in one game, that was surprising. Regardless, there's quite a few synergies out there for it. You could smork it up with like a Doom Guard and all of that. I feel like the five mana five five version has some validity, but let's be real. It's all gonna be about the one attack version. First, I'm just gonna say right out the gate, wild screwed. You can use Hyreek the bat and fill. Oh wait, that uh, doesn't really make much sense. Not joking aside though, in wild, you actually have Elwin Boar. You can do pretty well with the one mana one one version. Like you play a couple of those, all of a sudden you got a lot of Elwin Boars on the board. And we know Mark's gonna do like a Mogu cultist style of thing. That is certainly a possibility. Or, you know, just smork it up with some piggies. I, I literally just searched by board. But yeah, wild, there's some certainly some implications. But uh, standard, there is absolutely going to be some cool stuff. So the one attack version, I feel like it might be a uh, copy something cheap. You could copy like a free spirit just to get your hero power going more. Jade display might actually have the support to make it work with that. Probably not, especially it'll only work on the first one. But I'm looking at cards like Amethyst. Can you? imagine getting like two amethyst on the board is really good really solid but the other thing you can do with the card i guess you could ac actually give soul burner varia some other undeads to work with so it's just like nothing in standard but the thing i'm thinking about in particular since it's a mac you have all the magnetic cards you can slap magnetics onto it then play stuff like there's so many different possibilities there's magnetics you got the spark bots you can copy things up you can do like hand buff stuff like i don't know how reliable you could possibly try and set the 
things up, but like Musclotron, Painter's Virtue, Grime Street, any hand buff to these cards, especially the mini, you make the one mana, one, one version up to like four, five, six attack. There's a lot of different crazy shenanigans you could do with it. So like a lot of classes can possibly abuse it. I'm thinking Paladin, heck, you even have like Hunter. I don't think it's very realistic, but Bestial Madness or like Messenger Buzzard, more ways of hand buffing. It's just like one of the coolest cards in the way that you can flexibly do all this stuff. And again, because it's a mech, you can like actually like tutor it and buff it as well. You can like tutor it too with like the, the rogue spell, the two mana one, buff it up. There's so many different things you can do and manipulate hand buffing board buffing that there's this like infinite kind of potential for combos it's just a really wild crazy card that i don't know how to assess because everything i looked at there didn't seem amazing but something you're gonna piece together to make it work it's almost got that zilliac style of feel where you can kind of make your deck work for it in all these different type of ways so no idea how strong this card is going to be in standard it could be a dud it could be insane it could just be mediocre but i feel like it's going to lead to something to generate somewhere and maybe some just absolutely wacky crazy combos in a mark video so i cannot rate a card that gives you two other cards that can create other cards copy of the board it is also important to note it is based on playing not summoning so you gotta play the minion to copy it regardless i'm gonna give it a four to five in standard i think this can see realistic play i don't know what exactly there's a lot more smarter deck builders out there than me i'm, I'm really not that great at it but i know what i see a broken card and mana cheat dorian's gonna be so broken i'll never be wrong on that i've never been wrong before anyways i'm gonna give a forward standard in a wild there's so many crazy combos you're doing without much setup that I, I feel like it's probably too slow, but I'll give it a three. You could like discount it like Galvanizer and four mana Mech Warper and all sorts of shenanigans. You just never know. You could copy your Mechathune somehow and double Mechathune and kill your opponent twice. That's the ultimate combo. Anyways, yeah, I'll give it a three in wild. It's got a shot, I would say. So yeah, just one card, but I thought it was worth a bit of a deep dive. There'll be more cards later today, I believe around noon Pacific. So after this video goes live in like a couple of hours, and then one later in the afternoon, I think we got warrior cards or something coming like 5 p.m. Pacific. So it'll be a little bit later. So keep an eye out for those videos. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and, um, Try and figure out a combo with this thing, my friends. We'll see you later.